the OWASP Top 10 has evolved into an international security standard that is adopted by enterprises worldwide. However, even firms that employ OWASP might become victims of a cyber assault. So, what exactly is the OWASP? Top 10? And how should you employ it? What information do you require? As a result, he becomes your friend. The Open Web Application Security Project, or OWASP, was founded in 2003 to improve the security of software, particularly web applications. The OWASP Top 10 is a standard awareness document that provides a broad consensus on the most essential online application security concerns. OWASP is run entirely by volunteers and is not linked with any technological business. This absence of commercial pressure strengthens OWASP's claim of providing unbiased, realistic, and cost-effective application security knowledge, or does it? To construct its list of top 10 risks, OWASP draws on a network of open-source software projects, hundreds of local chapters throughout the world, tens of thousands of members, and training conferences. Data and documentation are fed into an OWASP-managed GitHub repository once the top 10 core team releases a data call. Contributors from the industry are also asked to take part in a survey. Surveys are gathered and assessed once the data is collected in GitHub and standardized. A top 10 list is then created utilizing eight dangers from the data and two from the survey. The draft is made public and the editing process is documented on GitHub. The OWASP top 10 is published after a public agreement has been established. Let's go over the list and explain what the top 10 categories represent. Broken access control has been breached. Access control flaws enable attackers to circumvent authorization protections and conduct actions as if they were privileged users. Simply put, a breach in access control allows an attacker to disclose sensitive data, edit or delete data, and execute almost any network activity. It's the holy grail of feats. Cryptographic failures were originally referred to as sensitive data exposure. Cryptographic failures represent OWASP's renewed attention on cryptographic failures. In essence, this category exploits information exchanged between two parties via secure communication, which frequently gives an attacker with vital knowledge in the post-exploitation phase, such as how to sustain persistent access. Injection is regarded as the king of vulnerabilities. Injection attacks susceptible computer programs by inserting code that alters how the program operates. An attacker, for example, can steal authentication cookies and use them to fool other online services into thinking the attacker is you by injecting code into a web application. Insecure design. It was added as a strong push for developers to include more security patterns and concepts into their designs by default. This is a critical factor to consider when integrating a new application into your network architecture, especially in light of the supply chain assault on solar panels and the impact it had on third-party service providers. Security misconfiguration was found in 90% of the applications tested, which is not surprising given the rise in highly configurable software. Security misconfiguration is defined as a failure to implement all of the security controls for a server or web application, or implementing security controls but with errors, because everyone makes mistakes in security. Misconfigurations arise as a result of a variety of human faults. Misinterpreting a system implementation and failing to change the default login credentials are examples of a lack of computer knowledge or errors committed under time constraints. Using components with known vulnerabilities was originally known as vulnerable and obsolete components. This category is tough to assess, yet it performed well in the community poll, adding to its current ranking. Operating systems, web or application servers, database management systems, APIs, and any components runtime environments and libraries that are susceptible, unsupported, or out of date are examples of vulnerable and obsolete components. To breach a system, an attacker only has to locate one susceptible component. Because around 18,000 new vulnerabilities are discovered each year, defending against existing vulnerabilities is a continuous effort. Broken authentication refers to the breach of passwords, keys, session tokens, user account information, and other credentials to assume user identities. Failures in identification and authentication demonstrate the need of methods such as MFA in validating critical information such as usernames and passwords. At number 8, another new category, software and data integrity problems, 
focuses on software updates, crucial data CI CD processes, and includes unsecured desterilization. This category refers to code and infrastructure that does not provide protection against integrity breaches. When an application, like as WordPress, relies on plugins from untrusted sources, a single hacked plugin might grant an attacker access. Security logging and monitoring failures were formerly classified as inadequate logging and monitoring. Although somewhat difficult to test for because to a lack of representation in CVE CSS, data security logging and monitoring errors can have a significant impact on visibility and forensics. Finally, server side request forgery is another in the community poll that received strong input from the security community that it is a significant danger but was not depicted in the data obtained. Server side request forgery is a sort of vulnerability in which an attacker takes advantage of a server's capabilities to get access to or alter information that would otherwise be inaccessible to the attacker. The OWASP Key 10 is the go to list for anybody looking to increase their awareness of top dangers. The incorporation of survey factors as well as pure statistical data implies that OWASP does not rely entirely on data obtained by automated testing. Instead, the categories are rated based on three key aspects, exploitability, probability, and technical effect, if possible. However, OWASP claims that it is only a baseline, a bogus benchmark even for compliance education and vendor tools. It is recognized as the basic minimum reference for standards of coding, code reviews, peer reviews, tool support, and penetration testing as an awareness document. Because the focus is on app security, many of the top 10 discoveries are difficult to verify for in-house. Because it is a volunteer service, people who release information publicly do so hypothetically without the experience of a real-world attack. If you want to learn more about the OWASP Top 10 list, stay tuned for our upcoming video, which compares OWASP results to our own Top 10 risk list. We will begin testing each assault in collaboration with the OWASP Juice Shop. That's it for now. Please subscribe, like, and share. This is S Shadow till the next video.